Welcome back to the evil within, Burning Dog fans. Oh boy, am I ever glad to be back in these halls. You see, there's something I wanted to do before I stopped this once and for all. I know it is unusual to come back after... Well, under the circumstances. There it is. Um... Yeah, it's been a little bit less than a month, I believe. Actually, it's been about one month today since uh, I finished the ser uh, this series. Since then, I have done the entirety of at least the story-based sections of uh, Let's Play Ghost 1.0. I forgot you could look around. Hmm. Always expect to see like a dude standing there just watching. Oh. Stop that. Anyway, I ramble. It has been a while, but something stuck in my head that I wanted to do before I laid this game to rest once and for all. And that is that if you play the Executioner in New Game Plus, there is an extra optional boss fight. And, uh, under the circumstances, I really wanted to share it. Even in that old photo, he's wearing the stupid apron. Learned a few things since, uh... Since I finished this game. I learned that, uh... The Evil Within Wiki believes that, uh... The Keeper and his daughter are Pedro and Marta Martin. The, uh... only time that I found a missing persons poster with two people on it. I found that in, uh, The Consequence. Unfortunately, I was unable to find a single reason why they believed that. There wasn't, like, a link to a to a developer interview, or like somebody saying something on Twitter or something. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt. Also to be taken with a grain of salt is the fact that, uh... The, uh... When I first looked at the wiki, it said unequivocally that the, uh... In the plot section... That, uh, the father, as I'll continue calling him, survived the ending. And that, uh, the daughter was waiting for him to wake up. I, uh, wanted to believe that, but again, nothing definitive. So, you know, as they put it on wikis, citation needed. Since then, I've noticed that has been adjusted to possibly survived. So, you know, hey. Maybe it's whatever you want to believe. This is STEM we're talking about, after all. Anyway, the bad news is that this optional boss fight is not available uh, outside of New... Well, it's not available outside of New Game Plus, so I couldn't have done it the first time around. And uh, it isn't unlocked until after you beat... The, uh, the first three bosses in this storyline. I'm not going to make you rewatch all that, so, uh... I guess I'll, uh... Yeah, I did keep all my shit. Nice. that. I don't have any of these, that's why it's not there, that's right, yes, okay. 
Let's, have, let's need ammo for those. Maybe we can get those last upgrades after all. But uh, I've got work to do. Not even sure I'll be able to finish this today. It's actually quite late right now. But, uh... I'll see you on the other side of this jump cut. Beep! Here's something nice. Movement speed. Increase overall walking speed to the final level. Delicious. I thought there was an upgrade for, uh... When an achievement for upgrading all of your physical attributes to the max, but whatever. Just realized I need to buy some ammo. Heh. <laughs> oh, and uh, there is a catch for this thing. The sword wielded by the Dark Keeper. If it loses its edge, it will need to be repaired in the shop. But you can, uh... Oh, my mistake. It says durability level, but I don't actually see a way to upgrade that here. Hmm. Maybe that increases with that, too. That's the sadist taken care of. That was very easy. With my fully upgraded hammer and everything. And this time, I was able to look around and get all the boxes, so, you know, regret undone. That one is a bit more of a pain in the ass, but again, fully upgraded, so I'm feeling pretty good about it. Yes, apparently, the, uh... You beat the first three bosses, and then, if it's on New Game Plus, the hidden thing is hidden behind the doors that, in the main game, had that Dead Space-style drag trap behind them. Unfortunately, I don't remember where in the manor that is, but at least I know it's upstairs. Now, on to the next victim. I'm actually filming this because, uh, it's something I never got to do the first time around, and I'd really like to try. Eat a dick! Oh. I did no damage. Hmm. Well, there's a torment for that, so maybe I'll just throw it into a group of his friends with some funsies. I got myself killed the first time I was here doing this. Excuse me. And there it is. And there's Zoin dead. Or however you say that. Making progress. What's next? Ah, yes. Poor bastard. Ah, there it is. You need to uh, buy it first before you have access to the durability one. That makes sense. I wonder what this is. What do you, could you not have access to in New Game Plus? Hmm. So just for funsies... That guy is fucking dead. Let's find another dude so I can use an execution animation on him and see what happens. Ah, 
I think there's one of these gold coins worth ten hidden in every one of the boss arenas. I say hidden, but it's just like you just need to know which box to smash, really. Alright, come on, come on, where are you? I need someone to destroy. I did know that this thing only uh, lost uh, durability after hitting the guy like three times, so that's nice. We have a volunteer. I'll hit you with this first. Not bad. You're just in time. I needed a volunteer. Well, the animation doesn't always, uh... I am, however, pleased to be able to, uh... share new content with you guys, even now. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the door I need to go to. So I need to kill Joseph and come back here. Eh, one more. I wonder if there's just the one animation, or... The only torments which I do not have are, uh, incinerate an enemy caught by a barbed wire trap with a Molotov cocktail, which is easy enough to do, and clear the hidden final execution chamber, which I believe is also only available in New Game Plus. But, uh, we can get into that in a bit. Sorry, I just activated that door. There you go. So this is a bit weird. When uh, this second section started, Joseph stepped through the door and said in the usual voice actor's voice, Oh my Corosa! So I'm guessing that's a new game plus joke. Come on, get out of the way. Fuck yeah. I've heard there's a joke like that in, uh. Oh, whatever it's called. The. Uh, mode and the DLC chapters where everything is dark all the time. And, uh... Yeah, this is a segment, I believe, in the, uh... In the consequence where... You have to turn on a, uh, a generator or something in order to turn the lights back on. And when you get there in uh, Kuriyami mode, I believe it's called, then uh, you actually hear the voice of the game's uh, developer, uh, the game's uh, director, laughing at you and saying in Japanese, Did you really think that would turn the lights back on? Oh, God. Fire, it's a hell of a drug. Oh my See, I got to uh, record it this time. Silver lining. And there's Joseph taken care of. May he rest in peace for reals this time. Spoilers. <laughs> so yes, the optional boss fight in New Game Plus in the Executioner is against Sebastian Castellanos. Far out, man.
Can't think of a better way to uh, finish this off once and for all than by killing the protagonist of the main game. Now this is explicitly non-canon, of course, since, of course, I said that twice in a row, since Sebastian returns as the protagonist in uh, The Evil Within 2. I'm just uh, heading back here to try and find a uh, health kit I didn't need. But, uh, it's just fun. Oh, and apparently that final execution chamber... <laughs> Sorry about that, I was starting to say... The, uh, the final execution chamber is apparently... Uh... Well, it's one of the challenge rooms you fight dudes, and I'm not sure if it's just this... Or if it's the usual, you fight a bunch of dudes, and then this is the last wave. But, uh, the final execution chamber involves fighting Sebastian and Joseph together. Which, uh, sounds kind of brutal, to be honest. Given that Joseph by himself managed to beat me, even with my stats tuned all the way up. Impress yourself today. I kind of already have. Part of me felt like I was never really going to come back and do this. I've had, uh... Oop. I've had uh, the Evil Within's de icon sitting on my desktop, literally staring at me because it's an eyeball. Uh... Oh, there was an health kit right there. Right, well, uh... I should actually save. But today I went back in and I got things done. I don't think I would have gone to all this trouble if it weren't the Executioner, because... It's a very short DLC, all things considered. I believe this way is faster. There was a trip mine just here, but I went in here, grabbed a man, and threw him through the open door into the trip mine. It was quite satisfying, even if I didn't take damage from standing too close. But hey, he dropped a health kit, so it's all good. I have no idea what this entails. I have not looked up battle strategy or anything. Let me see. It's dark in the darkness. No light, can't see anything. Headache, headache. And of course, you've got the... Uh, whatever they're called, I no longer remember. Stabbing into his head. Who's the hell in my brain? I think that's... Oh, that's a Beacon Mental Hospital. For a second, I thought that was the bus. Where she is, where he is. Fuck. Where my fellows are. Sounds like an attempt by someone very lame to be cool. You know, trying to say, like, Where my boys at? Oh, eyeballs. That's what those are. Oh, damn! He does way more damage than, uh, Joseph did. I forgot to buy more ammo for the rocket launcher. Oh, man! Uh oh. Of 
course, he's using a uh, revolver instead of a semi-automatic. That means in video game terms, he's much more powerful than Joseph's gun. God damn it, I need to throw you at him. I wonder they put this in fucking New Game Plus. I don't know how you'd even hurt this guy otherwise. Um, apparently there is a final upgrade for the punching in this game that makes you just one-shot everyone. I should have gone back to buy more ammo. God damn it. Uh, I don't know how many coins I have. Okay, don't go to confront him this time. That was dumb. I'm trying to think of any weaknesses Sebastian had in the main campaign, but I don't think I'll be able to use alcoholism, a dark past, or an obsessive need to check every corner for goodies uh, against him. you stop that? Oh. oh, God. Damn it. You stay out of this. Did he just fucking... He did! Of course he did. Fuck! Forgot you could even do that. I remember fighting the Keeper going very differently in the main campaign. shit back. Fourteen coins. Shit. It's like eighty for more rocket launcher ammo. Alright, I guess I'll dip in here and try and get more money. I'm not sure I can beat this guy without uh, taking off a big chunk of his health at the rocket launcher. It might be cheap, but then so is him punching me and doing like a chunk of my health. Damn. <laughs> Fuck that guy in particular. Seems like this whole endeavor is taking much longer than I thought it would, so, uh, I'm gonna have to call this one here and do another video. So as strange as it feels to say this after doing a whole other video series since the last time, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play The Executioner, the DLC chapter for The Evil Within. Later!